Oh my god. <laughs> Let me tell you this. We're doing we're doing a vlog at Cool Kicks, right? <laughs> okay. And I forget who I in, who I invited. Like they just told me I was doing a video, so I was like, "Yo, AD, pull up, house phone, pull up." You know, just invite a, a few of the homies, and they came through. But house phone and house phone was doing a lot. Like he was, I was doing the most. He brought his shoes from his his shoe brand, High Rollers, and he's like, you know, putting them on the shelf. He's like doing all this different funny stuff. And then when Cool Kicks goes to edit it, they slice this motherfucker out of the whole no, thing. Like it, it was like I wasn't even there. What'd you do to piss them? Well, off? this you, is what you happened. Did piss them off, right? So look, so when we got there, <laughs> when we got there, he was selling. He was selling you and Lynn some shoes or something like that, and he was like telling you it was like the wrong shoe. And I kind of just made a joke, like, how do you how do you own this shoe store, but you don't even know the difference between a Dunk and an Air Force One or something? <laughs> that or sounds like, like the kind or, of thing. Or the difference between, like, a Nike SB and a regular but Dunk. But if you walk into, what a, into a the shoe store and start that, questioning the them on their shoe knowledge, I could see them. Shout out to a deal. Don't put that on. No, no, no. no regardless no. of who's right or wrong, I could definitely see them taking offense to that. No, shout out to my nigga. Like, we hella cool now, but <laughs> I definitely... I but no, that's good cool. that you did that. I'm be real with you. Coming yeah. from being a real sneaker enthusiast, like I'm Same. really from that world, you know? And that's 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 how I felt when I was like, I'm in this multi-million dollar sneaker store, and the owner don't even know the difference between a Dunk and an SB Dunk. This is crazy. So, but, so, but essentially, he really pissed off. I did. <laughs> was, At the same time, though, like, dog, if you walk to a soul food restaurant, uh -huh. and it was... Asians and Mexicans in the kitchen cooking, you would have said some shit, bro. It's like some, you know what I mean? Like, come on. No, that's, racist. Nah. that's racist. Because oh. Asians make the best chicken. All them Louisianas. Mm -hmm. Come on, Ben. Florence mm -hmm. and Normandy. Yeah, come, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I would trust the Asians with almost anything. They make the best they, fried chicken. They're precise. If I walked into a French restaurant and there was a bunch of Asian people in the, in wait, the kitchen, I, yeah. I, I, like, whatever. Y'all clearly have higher IQs than us, so just go for it. Do whatever <laughs> you want to do. I don't see you ever going to get fried chicken, though. What the fuck are you talking about? I went to yeah. Nashville and ate nothing but fried chicken for a week. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, that's hot chicken. That's different. Yeah. No, it was real mm. deal fried chicken. You have no idea what you're talking about. I had I had fried chicken out <laughs> yeah, there. No, buddy. I have no had better fried killer. chicken than you have had in your life. He's acting like you never The fried know. chicken I had out there absolutely shits on every Nashville single nuggets? piece of fried chicken. <laughs> nuggets? Get your ass out there, you uncultured fuck. Nashville LA fried nuggets. chicken has never touched the <laughs> shit that I had. About. The shit I had in Nashville, not even this on nigga, the same planet. No, no, no. The hot chicken in Nashville is fire, though. This no, the fried chicken, to, too. I'm saying you LA. Begin, my sister lives out there. What's the best LA fried chicken? The one he just said. What? The Louisiana. Louisiana. <laughs> <Martin Norman. laughs>